Hello everybody, this is Alex Roberts from the New Media Writing Studio and I'm going to take a few moments to record a video for you guys, a sort of a too long didn't read for the blog post that I am about to post. Um, one of the things that many employers are looking for nowadays is a person who can get through a Skype interview with clarity, consistency, and an overall enthusiasm that they can't find anywhere else. So clearly you have to be able to leverage those skills in a way that's relevant to the workforce and the job that you're applying for. Um, in my blog I explain the best practices and ways that you can really set yourself apart from all the other applicants that they see and do it in a digital sphere. So. Let me go ahead and go through Skype a little bit. Um, first of all, if you wanted to go and download Skype, all you have to do is go to the internet, use Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, whatever you like, and type in www.skype.com. Real original, I know. So just hit download Skype. It'll figure out what type of computer you got. Hit get Skype for, my, for Mac, do whatever it says to do, and it'll come onto your device, and voila, here you go. You'll be asked to create an account, you can use your email, you can use whatever you feel like is best, you can use a phone number, the only thing you cannot use is a work email or a school email, so this is kind of a detriment to those of you in college, but all you have to do is create a professional email. Once again, another type of account, another digital item that will set you apart from others. So this is Skype. This is the screen that you get with Macs. With Microsoft Windows, it's a little different, but not too different. Um, for me, I prefer the Mac version. It's simple, it's crisp, it's clean. So, what do you do? What makes Skype tick? Well, there are a few things that you should know about. First of all, contacts. It's the cornerstone of Skype technology. You have to have people who you can talk with so that you can Skype. So, to add a contact, simply go up here to add contact. I'm going to search for myself. Um, you can search for anyone, and it'll find the person for you. See, there's like 5,000 Alex Robertses. Well, that's, <laughs> that's not really a surprise. Anyway, whenever your employer calls you, they'll probably ask for your name and call it you. Um, this is very critical information because if you're the one who needs to call them, you need to be on point and ready to, to go. So to do that simply ask for their name, ask for their email, ask for whatever Skype account they use and guess what? You can call them through the add contact feature and you can get on with your interview. So a few other important uh, aspects of Skype. One, this right here. This is the conversation tab. This will allow you to start a conversation with somebody. So um, up here you can add friends, um, followers, etc. and so forth. And down here you can just say, whoops, you can say, hello. And it'll go to whoever you want it to go to. Right now it's going to nobody because I haven't chosen any contacts. But you can do that and it can be a way for you to communicate to your super future supervisor, excuse me, excuse me, via a uh, common communication platform. So, very useful, very wonderful. Um, beyond that, there's a history tab. It'll show you all the calls you've ever made, and that's about it. Over in the corner, up here, you can get this little nine, excuse me, ten. Uh, symbol image and that will bring up dial pad. You can make calls over IP but those will end up costing you money so go ahead and allow your future hopefully employer to call you instead of you call them because that'll incur a charge for you. 
Other than that, that's about it for Skype. Skype is very simple. It's very easy to use. And once you get the hang of it, it will really show that you have tech savvy and that you're ready to be part of today's modern workforce. And with that, this has been Alex Roberts, and I'll see you on the flip side.